I encourage you to look for ingredients in the products that are going to actually help you with your skincare problem. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Wandia. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you always tune in, thank you for that as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful and informative. If you do, please hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge and the notification bell as well. That way you stay up to date with my content because I find if I find out a, a few hints and tips to help with any kind of struggle, I like to share it with you guys. So let's just jump straight in. I don't want to make this video very long-winded. So basically about a year ago, I did a skincare video where I talked about all the products that had been helping me with my skin problems. Um, a lot has changed, a lot has improved, but I still kind of wanted to up my games to continuously improve the skin. So the problems that I tackled or still continue to tackle are hormonal acne, um, hyperpigmentation, and obviously the scars I get from the acne. So I will talk to you, I will talk you through the products that I use. And then towards the end of the video, I will mention all the active ingredients you want to look out for the products that you have or are going to buy because these products may have worked for me and may not necessarily work for you or your skin problems might be higher or lower than mine. If you, if you get what I mean. So let's just jump straight in. In the morning, I use simple face wash. I work the product into my skin with my hands. Um, and on the days I feel like my body probably needs a proper scrub, I will use this uh, exfoliating gloves. I've talked about them before. I like them because they're in the, in the bathroom. I don't have to be dealing with charging a battery with the brushes or putting them in and when they get dusty and gunky I just literally throw them away. After I wash my face I will use a scrub. Now my scrub does have a um, chemical exfoliant. I use L'Oreal Man Expert. It looks like that. I've talked about this before. It's got a high concentration of salicylic acid. Salicylic acid belongs to BHAs, that's beta hydroxy acids. It is a chemical peel and it's known to penetrate oil that we're getting rid of clog, getting rid of acne, controlling it if anything, and things like that. It belongs to the BHA family as opposed to the AHAs, which basically cannot penetrate oil. So if you're suffering with acne, look for products with a high concentration of salicylic acid. They help with inflammation, they help with getting rid of the clog, and they also help bring out new skin cells. I then pat my skin dry, I come into my room and then I use a toner. My toner has an exfoliant. It has an AHA exfoliant, which is the glycolic acid. I was previously using the Pixie Treat. So if you're new to those kind of chemicals, you might want to start slow. This is very mild. This is very effective. It's helped me before. I've even been using this since the video, but I just thought I want to up my game. To up my game, I decided to use the Ordinary, which has 7% glycolic acid. <laughs> It encourages the production of collagen. It also encourage, reduces the production of melanin. So if you have hyperpigmentation, which are obviously getting darker, that's what you want to be using. It also helps with inflammation. So after I pat my face down, I like to moisturize and I use the azelaic, az, azelaic acid, which has 10% and it has a multifunctional brightening formula from the ordinary. Now, Azelaic acid has been known to lighten the skin and also prevent inflammation. So after I've used all those acids and chemicals and stuff like that, I'm obviously encouraging new skin cells, better looking skin cells. So what you want to do is you want to protect that skin from the damage that you've previously experienced before. What you want to invest in is obviously sun cream. I go for the cocoa butter sun cream. It's got SPF 50. I'm not messing about. I want to completely protect my skin and with the cocoa butter one you don't get that casper white cast on your face it's really really good then in the evening i come back and after i wipe my face or wash my face depending on what i've done to clean it i reach out for niacinamide um 10 with one percent zinc now Niacinamide has been known to help with eczema, it's been known to help with hyperpigmentation, and it's been known to help with acne. So, you will not find anything in the market that has 
such a high concentration of niacinamide, um, which is 10%. Most usually have 2%, 4%. I'm just looking at my notes. But with this one from The Ordinary, it has a high concentration, which normally helps. And then I moisturize my face again with another product from The Ordinary called the Magnesium uh, the bath 10% I won't bother explaining that it looks like that and that's basically it now I'm going to talk about other active ingredient ingredients you might want to consider hydroquinone you've got kojic acid you've got niacinamide you've got alizaic acid you've got salicylic acid you've got retinoids as well i've not started using retinoids as well because i feel i've s s recently just invested in that routine um and i don't want to push the boat too far in terms of review i've obviously mentioned a lot of ordinary products um they are quite effective they pride themselves with the ingredients that they put into their products i don't mind their packaging i think for someone like me i'm interested in more of the product not the packaging because the packaging really doesn't do it for me like that um i'm interested more in the content so i don't mind if companies scheme off a bit on packaging so in a nutshell all the products that i used are fantastic they're helping me i'm not quite there yet um and i encourage you to try them i encourage you to look for ingredients in the products that are going to actually help you with your skincare problems um, with things like hydrochronone, you probably want a prescription for that. If not, go for things with kojic acid, go for things with azelaic azel acid, things with salicylic acid, retinol, all this hyaluronic, things that will hydrate and moisture. I probably should invest in something that has hyaluronic acid because I don't think glycolic acid hydrates. It probably moisturizes it doesn't hydrate anyway that's a story for another day obviously my skin is not where i want it to be but like i said it's a working product progress and i feel i've stepped up my game a little bit i hope you found this video useful and informative if you do please give me a like please make sure you're subscribed and please leave a comment down below on the skin skincare products that you love and i hope i see you guys in my next video thank you and bye